Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. In tonight's segment, we bring you the tragic story of Janice Prescott, a breast cancer patient who underwent treatment by disgraced surgeon Ian Patterson. Mrs. Prescott's husband, Mr. Prescott, seeks answers regarding the treatment his late wife received. Let's dive into the details. Janice Prescott, a vibrant woman diagnosed with breast cancer in 2001, sought the best possible care for her condition. Ian Patterson, known for his self-proclaimed expertise, performed a full mastectomy on Mrs. Prescott. However, within a year, the cancer resurfaced in the same location, ultimately leading to her untimely demise. Ian Patterson's attitude always was that he was the best of the best. I thought that she was getting the best possible care. Mr. Prescott expresses his concerns about the treatment his wife received and the impact it may have had on her life. An inquest into Mrs. Prescott's death, along with 11 others, will be opened and adjourned this Friday. It is unfortunate that over 30 deaths are already under investigation, and there may be more. Declared. Judge Foster highlights the alarming number of cases linked to Ian Patterson's malpractice and the need for further examination. Ian Patterson, who is currently serving a 20-year sentence, carried out unnecessary or unapproved procedures on more than 1,000 breast cancer patients. His unrecognized cleavage sparing surgery, which left breast tissue behind, is now being assessed to determine if it contributed to the recurrence of cancer. I am driven to find out what happened, whether the treatment that she received contributed towards her death. Mr. Prescott expresses his quest for answers and justice regarding his wife's tragic outcome. Ian Patterson worked at Spire Parkway Hospital, Spire, Little Aston Hospital, and NHS hospitals run by the Heart of England NHS Foundation Trust. An independent inquiry discovered a culture of avoidance and denial, allowing Patterson to perform harmful surgeries without proper oversight. After the operation, Patterson said to her, I have removed every last vestige of breast tissue, you won't get cancer in that site again. Within less than a year, it had reappeared on the same side. Mr. Prescott shares the heartbreaking moment when his wife discovered that her cancer had returned, despite Patterson's assurances. As Mrs. Prescott's inquest is set to unfold next year, Mr. Prescott and other affected families hope to uncover the truth surrounding Ian. Patterson's actions, their pursuit of justice shines a light on the importance of accountability and patient safety within the healthcare system. Thank you for joining us tonight. We'll continue to follow this story and provide updates as the investigations progress. Good night.